Back. So in the first few years of life, more than 1 million neural connections form every single second. To optimize this critical phase of brain development, babies require what psychologists call save and return or serve and return interactions. Traditionally, this was solely through a parent child engagements, but now AI is stepping in to assist. My name is Sophia, and I am an artificially intelligent robot who wants to help. Sophia is one of the world's most lifelike AI robots. She's spoken at the United Nations and has been on the cover of magazines. But could something like Sophia help you raise your child? I'm a counselor, so it completely takes away from the, the attachment, the nurturing that you have with the parent and the child. What if these devices didn't have a human-like appearance? One of the AI-driven products available is the Cocoon Cam. This system uses computer vision technology to track a child's breathing, temperature, and movements. It also sends alerts to parents in case of irregularities like breathing issues or extreme room temperatures. The Aura Smart Baby Monitor does all that and has HD night vision, remote panning, and an in-app daily activity tracker. Blue Smart Mia is a smart bottle feeding system that tracks and analyzes your baby's intake and consumption patterns. But AI technology comes with its own set of considerations. First, it lacks human interaction, a crucial element for a child's growth. Although it can monitor activities, it can't engage with them like a human can. Also, there's the risk of over-reliance on technology, potentially neglecting other important aspects of upbringing. And there are major privacy and security concerns as these symptoms collect a wealth of sensitive data about the child. Whether or not you decide to get a little help from AI, experts agree it is no replacement for real quality time with your little one. And research shows that early childhood education coupled with strong parental engagement is a key predictor of a child's future academic success and social well-being.